hi friends welcome back to my channel in today's videos we'll be seeing how to run a same application and flutter on different two environments so there are the uh, uh, times when during a development when you want to have a one instance for the testing and another for the production so when we say one instance for testing or development that means there is a different backend and different uh, different backend attached to your app so as we see in our screen you we have is our uh, demo app the flutter demo page that comes with the flutter application uh, framework so in here we have see two applications at the left and right so the left one has a developer um, a, this is during the development you see this instance and for the when you release your app in that it might have be connected with a production database uh, backend so in this uh, case we we are uh, creating the two different uh, firebase ins project so one firebase project will be dedicated for the developer environment that's where you can actually create your app uh, develop it you can also uh, share with your internal developers and this is where it's more like a playground however when your application is done is ready for rolling to the production you may want to create a different instance for the production and that's where you don't have the test accounts this is the real production app that rolls out to the real world for your real users so uh, we may want to have uh, these two instances separate because we do not want test account probably in the production um, and we want to have like say some features that are there in the developers uh, um, release or build here they are not ready yet to be rolled into the production so for this separation we need to have different two backends so in here we are creating these two backends in the uh, firebase project uh, the, using the firebase backend and for the each backend we will have a separate app in the front uh, that you can install on your phone and can play around so each app in here is actually using a different backend so what so do you think like we will be creating a different code altogether probably not so it, using the same application code but running uh, connecting it on the different backend is calling uh, flavoring in android world and creating different schemes in ios so in here i will be using the word schemes uh, flavors and environment interchangeably so let's get started so first thing uh, for this demo application i have created these two different firebase projects it's right here so it's like a counter def, uh, counter app dev and counter app product in here uh, so once you create the projects it's for android and ios and in here i've created one counter uh, for android and one for ios and as you can see you have google services uh, a file that you will be downloading and in here you will have for iOS and same thing for the production right here you can download from here to here so first thing you may want to do you may want to actually download these files in a temporary folder in your applic uh, in, in your machine or you can download it when the time comes it's up to your choice so what we do in here uh, so I'm not covering like how to create a Firebase project here. There is a great documentation here on the Firebase website itself. But if you need any help, you uh, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to provide you links on how to create the Firebase project. So the first thing what we do at the Flutter application side, we may want to create an app config. So what's the app config in here? It's just in a little class that actually holds the app name and the flavor. So flavor is the environment name, like if whether it's a developed dev environment or the prod environment. Dev is short for the development environment and the prod is a short form of production environment. And the app name, why we want it different? Because so that we don't get confused with, uh, we may want to say, uh, say uh, this is my counter app dev and counter app production you may have you may want to have a different 
names in case you install decide to install the both apps on the same phone to for testing so uh, one thing uh, after creating this uh, app config you may want to tweak a little bit the entry point in the dart usually we have the lib main uh, dot dot in here i'll be creating the main underscore dev dot dot and oh, i'll be using the app config to fill my data in what's my app name and what is my flavor and then initialize my app so i'll show you a code in a bit like how we do it and it's also there in my github repo in case you want to uh, take a look into it in the deep same for the production environment for production environment there's a main underscore um, uh, prod dot dot and that is doing the same thing but with a different uh, name and a different flavor so now let's see what happens here uh, in a more pictorial manner so you have a one firebase project for dev and one firebase project for prod and you uh, have different um, names you can see in the project name like a bundle identifier as we call or application id in the android recall so i'm using the for the dev uh, counter uh, suffixed with dev for the development environment and for the prod actually here's a typo i'll fix it it should be the dev uh, counter app dot prod for the firebase so it's right here you can see it's com dot pcc dot counter app dot prod so this is the firebase uh, instance so in here ios and everywhere is the same and the flavor and the counter and uh, underscore flavors is the flutter project so now quickly see the project so i'm using vs code here and in here this is my project and i'm using in in here uh, i can see my pub spec file and this is my uh, the firebase uh, sorry flutter project namespace right here okay so Let's go back all right so now uh, we need to set up the configuration at android side and in the ios side so at android side we'll be creating dev and prod two folders uh, for the configuration in here so this i, I will go in my android folder and i have under the app and source i'll create debug is there already dev and prod folders and i will act uh, I will move my Google uh, hyphen services dot JSON file that I downloaded from DAV to DAV instance, the DAV instance project, Firebase project to in here and from the prod in here. So that's the first step I will do. Second, the build configuration. So in build configuration, I will uh, create the uh, flavors. So I will create the dimension, which is I'm calling it counter app and i will create this blob um, this piece of code code snippet here so uh, the mo uh, most important thing here is the uh, the suffix like what's the, if you want to add a suffix so that it can change uh, my application id of its own or uh, if you don't want to do this then you can also identify or also put it your own uh, application id here but just make sure it, the dev and the product should have a different uh, different application id otherwise they will be they will have conflict so for me it's easier to just add suffix at the end to dev and the prod and then also i want to create have a different name for it because i want to have the for uh, dev counter app dev and for the production counter app prod so this is the configuration this is where you do it so that's the chain uh, that's the two things that you want to do and the another thing that i was talking about in the uh, config uh, co app config so app config file is here and which I takes the name and the flavor of the app and this is my app dot dot and app dot dot is um, the main the brain of the uh, application and in here i act I have I wrapped the basic configuration of the Firebase in here, like where I initialize my app. And this is where I pass my app config data. And once my data is ready, I call my, my app as we do it in usual counter app. And in main underscore dev is the one that I 
uh, I actually create my app config and initialize my app and run my app and same thing with the prod. So that's the configuration details that we just covered uh, a while ago. All right, so in here, this is how we do for the Android and for iOS, iOS is a little different than Android and we call it a schemes, custom schemes uh, to support the different um, instances uh, or, or different uh, configurations for dev and production. So the way I do it, I took this uh, way of doing uh, the uh, setting up the Firebase configuration file from this great article here. You can take a look at it. And so what we do, we have our Xcode, we open our Xcode, we create the folder config, we move our dev and prod uh, Google services file into their respective folders. And the one thing you may want, you want to drag the file into the folder right here into the Xcode. It may not be picking, it may not pick if you do it otherwise. So make sure you are dragging uh, from the uh, finder or, or the folder to right here into it, into the Xcode. And once you have it, um, so in here in the build phases, you select this runner and you go into the build phases, you create this one, um, uh, one script phase here, uh, one uh, run new script phase, and then it will create, so basically I created this in here and copy paste this uh, script that that uh, I have in the article there into here so what it does it goes into this file it picks this file based on the what scheme is selected and scheme will, will be covering next how to create one um, the scheme is equivalent to the flavor in Android and it copies this Google services file in the workspace while you're, it's running. So that's what it does. So that's the, uh, uh, that's the reason of this uh, you know, creating this target here. And we put it after linking the binary with the libraries. This is where uh, it comes. Okay, so now let's see how to create uh, the custom schemes. Let's create the dev scheme first. Click on the runner, click on new scheme select the runner target and then give it a name in our case we are have def flavor then click select the runner under project and select the info and what uh, here we will create the configurations uh, so the easiest way to just duplicate for debug release and profile so we are doing dev and same thing for release and profile. And now once we have all these configurations, we need to assign it uh, to the dev scheme. So we go to the manage scheme, select the dev scheme, say add it, and now we will go one by one on each configuration and we'll select the relevant configuration for it. So for run, debug, dev, and test also debug dev. For profile, we need to do release dev because it runs in the release configuration. Uh, sorry, profile dev, and for analyze, we do debug dev, and for archive, we leave it to release dev. So here we'll go with the configurations uh, for the corresponding um, the configuration uh, that we just created for the screen. And that's it for this game. So we just created the dev. Now for creating the prod, we can just rename the existing predefined configurations so for debug we can rename to debug prod and release to release prod and for profile to profile prod and now we will do the same thing we assigning the managing the scheme clicking on it and so we'll rename the runner to uh, the prod later and basically we will have for runner configuration will make sure it selected the debug prod and everything is the prod configuration for test and for profile 
and analyze and the archive so yeah it was just want to verify it's there and now we uh, it's runner by default so we may want to rename it to the prod we just like it double click there and we'll do the prod once you create the schemes you will have these configurations um, right here so if you run flood this command you might you will get this uh, whole um, uh, this directions from Xcode how to actually configure your debug uh, your configurations with a particular scheme that we just covered as well and now once your schemes are ready you may want to change your product bundle identifier like the same way what we did in the Android so to show you very quick if we go in a runner and combine so we go in runner and in the build settings and we put it here bundle so in bundle you can see they have we have the different configurations and you may want to pick the right string for this this is uh, important for uh, to uh, give the right mapping for the right configuration so this is similar to what we did as a application id suffix in the android side all right and then the finally uh, we the, there are few commands to run the code so uh, when you want to run uh, the code you may want to provide the target file because we do had no more have main dot dart which is picked up automatically we have the targeted file so make sure you have this one you are passing these commands and uh, uh, and and you can also create the uh, uh, whole app bundle and apk from the command line as well so i will show you this one command quickly for the production on for the uh, for the dev and for product so i will go in my command line and i run it on max code so max simulator is running here and this is in my production environment it will take a while to run it's in the debug mode because i'm passing in the debug so on simulator you can only do it in debug on the actual phone you can do on the release so after build is completed and this is running in the dab which is the like yellow color here and it was running in the prod before so that's how we can flavor our apps in the uh, flutter in the in the two environments you can do the same for different more than two environment as well so the just to summarize everything um, so first we do create the of two projects like a separate dedicated firebase backend uh, here in the firebase google services file and then we uh, move those files into their respective folders and add the flavors in here in the pr app slash uh, build.gradle file under android folder in flutter and for ios we create uh, we does the similar thing in config underscore dev and uh, in the product and make sure you are copying the file uh, you are dragging the file uh, to the uh, xcode and we create the custom schemes dev and product uh, prod and then we uh, specify the bundle identifier and then finally we run the uh, from the command line and so this is uh, this is pretty much for this video and I will see you in the next video I hope you like this video and the source code for this uh, re uh, example is right here as well so uh, thank you very much for watching